welcome back to my channel if you guys have been here before if you guys are new welcome my name is cg or carla now remember to hit the little subscribe button and the little bell so you guys get notified when i upload and you won't miss any more of me y'all know i don't post often but shout out to tony because i was really unmotivated because recently i had recorded a two hour long video and i edited it edited it i had edited the video and the four times that i edited the video it, the video would crash so i was at the point where i was like you know what screw these videos i'm not gonna do them anymore and i'm not gonna edit because edit takes up a whole lot of time but i just got a letter from um my friend tony he's in the army and so that kind of gave me the little push to come here and restart doing this again so moving along let's get started with what we're gonna do today in this video so as you guys can see by now we are gonna be talking a lot today because that is the point of the video so we're gonna be doing a get ready with me q a video i did ask you guys to ask me questions on my instagram and i do have two profiles so we're gonna be doing one on my makeup account and one on my personal slash modeling account so personal slash modeling account i'm not gonna be saying who asked me the questions because those are more of people that i know personally so with that said let's go ahead and get started with we do have a giveaway at the end so don't miss on that and keep on watching and my sister is going to be in the background you guys are going to hear her voice she's going to be the one asking me the questions we're going to start using the touch and soul no pore bloom primer and we just got it in our february boxy charm the link for boxy charm is going to be in the description box so go ahead and check it out and go ahead and click on it and subscribe on boxy charm because you guys are missing a lot so let's just go ahead and prime our face and ask the first question. Yes, mean underscore Riva said, hey boo, age and zodiac sign. I am currently 20 years old and my zodiac sign is, I think it's Aries? Aries, I don't know how to pronounce that one because I don't really look into like horoscopes or whatever, but that'd be my um, zodiac sign. I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair up so we can start going on to the foundation. For our foundation, we go ahead and use the BH Liquid Naturally Flawless Foundation in the shade 209 Ivory Beige. And to apply my foundation, you can either go ahead and go in with your Beauty Blender or I like going in with my Morphe Foundation Brush that comes in the Complexion Goals Collection. Yes, mean underscore Ruba said, when did you start using makeup? So I started using makeup, I believe, when I was like 18. I know you guys can notice all these zits on my face, but it's okay. I do have a little weird um, makeup routine, so I'm sorry if you guys don't do it the way I do. I just, this is just how I got used to it. So I do drag it all the way down to my neck because I think the shade is a little, a little lighter than my skin tone, so... When I am done applying it with my brush, I do go ahead and go in with a beauty blender and just dab in. Just in case, you know, we miss any spots, the beauty blender will catch it, you know? Just in case you you had any strokes or anything. As you guys can see, the foundation is like a medium coverage, not full coverage. But I really like this foundation. It's not dewy, it's not matte, it's like perfect and you won't even feel it on your skin. It's just really, really nice if you like a very natural look. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Cello Eyebrow Cream. And to conceal my brows, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in shade medium. Okay, so our eyebrows are done and let's go ahead and get moving. We're gonna go ahead and move to contouring. We are using the Pure, Pure Sculptor Contour and Highlight Palette. We got this in our Boxy Charm again. So if you're not subscribed to Boxy Charm, the link is in the description box. Go ahead and click it. To contour, I go ahead and use the Morphe M458. Makeup by Rudy said, do you plan on doing cosmetology? I don't cosmetology simply because cosmetology doesn't just focus on makeup. So I don't want to just go into cosmetology. I just want to focus on makeup. So like anything that has to do with me beating your face, I'm good. But like doing hair and doing everything else, it's not, it's like a no for me. So I use that brush for applying the contour and to blend it out, I just go ahead and use this fat brush. See how I went too um, deep with my contour on this side? What I do is if I gotten in, like if I went too harsh on my contour, I just go ahead and grab my flat foundation brush. I don't add more foundation, I just go like this to diffuse the contour a little bit. 
For concealing, I again, I go ahead and use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in shade medium. I don't add a lot because this Shape Tape Concealer is, like, the formula is, like, so good. You, like, you don't even need a lot. The consistency of it is just way too much for my, for my taste. So, like, it's heavy for my skin, you know? So I just need a little bit. You don't need to add all those triangle stuff because I just don't. Makeup Z dot Z said, what did slash do you study? Do you want to travel where? Okay, so I am currently majoring for child development. <clears throat> um, if I wouldn't have slacked off in school, I would have probably been done by now. And yeah. Yes, girl, you tap on it. <laughs> Okay, so for bronzing, as you see what I'm holding, I am holding the BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer in the shade Golden Gal. I think this shade is a little too light for my skin tone, but I'm still going to go ahead and use it. Where I want to travel is a very interesting question because I technically want to travel all over the world, but I'm scared of airplanes. So, um, my main places where I want to travel would be like, you know, Basics Paris, um, the Bahamas. Um, Spain. I want. I want to visit Spain. I also want to visit Bora Bora. I definitely want to visit Bora Bora. I want to go to Colombia as well. Colombia is Colombia would probably be my you know my main place to go first. And yeah, that's where I want to travel. I'm scared of airplanes though, so I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get there. But yeah. For baking, I go ahead and use the Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in shade Banana. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. For that, I go ahead and use the Morphe Beauty Blender. <laughs> Michaela X Alyssa said, any trend or phase you went through that you look back and laugh at? Question mark. <laughs> okay, so a phase that I definitely have to say that I look back and laugh at in a way where I make fun of myself would be the phase where, I don't know if you guys remember um, that phase where the I Love Boobies bracelets came out and all those weird... Um, magnetic one i laugh at and that is my most embarrassing face because the fact that we would take pictures with our freaking duck lips and our face covering i mean our hands covering our face it's just like i look back at it and i laugh so hard because that is like so embarrassing and my parents don't make fun of me believe it or not my parents are like remember when you would go like this and then that's like that's like so embarrassing so yeah Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to our eyes. We're gonna go ahead and prep them with concealer. He also asked, first experience with makeup. So my first experience with makeup was obviously horrible, terrifying. I tried um redoing a makeup look that Manny MUA had done because um, Manny MUA was the first makeup influencer that I started watching. So of course I went ahead and I tried, you know, doing one of his looks. Uh, it looked disgusting. Um, when I did that, I was like, you know what, Carla? You're never doing makeup. You're never going to be good at it. Girl, my makeup's not perfect now, but I could do way better than what I started with. So, yeah. It was terrible, but I'm glad I started. I don't recommend you guys setting your lids because that makes the um, eyeshadow pigmentation not be so present as, as it should be. So, what I do, I go ahead and grab the same bronzer that i have if you guys don't have a, like a light bronzer go ahead and grab a very very nude color out of any um palette and just go ahead and dab it all around your lid that will set your lid what's your favorite song slash artist slash band that's i don't think I'd go, i'm gonna be able to answer that question because I literally go from listening to classical music to country to hispanic music which would be like banda reggaeton um corridos all that stuff so i don't have a specific genre that i'm into and i don't which that would mean i don't have a specific song a specific artist a specific song that i like so anything you shoot my way i'll listen to i'll just put it that way unknown the 23 said why did you start makeup what's your favorite eyeshadow palette so we're going to answer the eyeshadow palette one because we are going to go ahead and move into our eye eyeshadow already. So at the moment, I have two favorite eyeshadow palettes. I am a very neutral gal. So for my neutrals, 
I go straight to my Morphe 35F palette. This one has more um, shimmers. So if you guys want more of neutral shimmers, this is a really good palette. And the next palette that I use, this was my first, like, not expensive, but brand um, eyeshadow palette. So I definitely, my go-to would definitely be the Jaclyn Hill um, palette. The very first one that she released with Morphe. Because, again, it has a lot of, sorry it's dirty, I really use this palette, so... Um, it has a lot of neutral shades, but it also gives you the variety of, like, you know, using control with other with other colors. So, yeah, these would be my go-to eyeshadow palettes. So, with that said, we're going to go ahead and use the Jaclyn Hill palette to do our eyes. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right here as our transition shade. So, to answer the question, why did I start makeup? I started because I started doing, like, modeling. I'm not a model. But I do model, if that makes any sense. So I started modeling, and at the event, sometimes the makeup artists didn't have time to finish all of us. Or sometimes there weren't even enough makeup artists to, like, you know, get, like, every single one of us. So we had to get to the point where we had to learn to do our own makeup, just in case any of those events we were missing any makeup artists. Or the makeup artists didn't have time to finish all of us because we were so many girls that... You know, they weren't able to finish us. And then they had to do our hair too. So that would take up more time. And then being able to do our makeup. So that's why I started doing makeup. And then from there, I just straight out went to loving makeup. When I was in high school, I always swore like, I'm never going to wear makeup. I don't know why girls wear makeup. Once you start doing makeup, I doubt you're ever able to get out. Because makeup is just something that's like... Like, it's just so relaxing. Like, when I get mad, I seriously start doing my makeup because that just relaxes me. So, yeah, that's why I started doing makeup. So, for our next shade that we're going to use, we're going to go ahead and use this shade right here. And then we're going to move on to this shade right here. All these shades, you just go ahead and develop them in your crease because we are going to use our lid to add shimmer on it. MUA just XO said, what age were you when you started makeup? Uh, I started makeup when I was 18. I think I had already answered that question. So you guys go ahead and grab a clean brush and just blend out like any of the product that we have here. Don't grab any more product. Just go ahead and blend it out. That way you could see like the makeup being diffused. Lily, the MUA said, when will you do another YouTube video with your boyfriend? Um, Lily, sweetheart what boyfriend are you talking about because i don't have a boyfriend she has He's a not, boyfriend i don't have a boyfriend so i will technically be doing a video with my boyfriend when i have when i get a boyfriend if because she at the gets moment, a boyfriend if i get a boyfriend because at the moment i don't have a boyfriend so yeah next question is when are you gonna become beautiful <laughs> that was a question directed by my sister so okay so once you have blended that out you go ahead and use the darker shade that i had told you guys about now we're going to use more of a precise brush for that darker shade so we could go ahead and use it on our outer corner and just blend it into the crease a person said have any tips for eyeliner i forever struggle what i do is i just grab a tape and i apply it on what's this part of the eye and i just go ahead and outline my eyeliner once you remove it it should be clean like cleanly um lined out so that's what i do if it is not lined out you could just go ahead and grab a cotton swab and just like neatly neatly very carefully clean it out with concealer or just with makeup remover so this is what we do you guys you guys see what i did i just applied the darker shade on this outer part of my eye and i dragged it into my crease okay so it's very easy you don't have to do it precisely the way i'm doing it if there's an easier way for you to do it go ahead and do it i'm just trying to show you guys what i know okay. so before we move to the next question we're gonna go ahead and add this shade on our lid and for that i go ahead and pick up my finger i just very very smoothly rub some product into my finger it is very pigmented so you don't need a brush i mean again if you want precision go ahead and cut your crease and then you do it perfectly but i don't you know i just want a very simple look so let's go ahead and do that favorite look you've done xx who is 
Who is your favorite YouTube beauty person? My favorite look at the moment would be my anti-Valentine's Day look that I did on my Instagram. If you guys have not seen it, go ahead and see it. I really like it because I never thought I was, you know, gonna use the shades black on my lips. And I did. So I really like how that came out. As you guys could see, you just need to dab the product lightly apply it on your eye and it is very pigmented you don't need a brush so that's what i do that's what i that's why i love this jacqueline hill palette it is so pigmented and my favorite makeup person so straight up beauty people i know these people are like enemies now or whatever but i would have to really go with manny mua and jeffree star and lara lee I'd go with Manny MUA because I really started watching Manny first and he was like, based on his videos is why I learned to do my makeup. I like Jeffrey because he's very honest, um, although he could be very brutal sometimes, he's very honest and I feel like honesty is something that people really hate and you get so much hate for it. I know that because on my past video, I would try to be as honest as possible with Jeffrey's mystery box. And a whole bunch of you guys came at me like if I was dissing Jeffrey. And I mean, that's fine with me. I don't care. I was just stating on my opinion. And that's why I like Jeffrey because he really doesn't care either. He, you know, he's going to tell you what he thinks about the products that he's reviewing. And what better than having someone review products that are actually going to work for you. Than someone, you know, just being like, oh my god, I'm being sponsored by this product so i'm gonna say that i like it you know so and Lara Lee because simply i just like how she's hurt you know she gets criticized a lot because she she acts dumb as i see it on some of you guys comments you guys ask her if she just acts dumb or that's just her but i like that because i feel like you know not a lot of people are gonna be able to stand or sit in a camera and act you know the way she is because they're scared of you know being criticized by it. People like the viewers that, you know, talk so much shit about people like them. So, yeah, that have to, those, those people are going to have to be my favorite beauty people. Okay, so as you guys can see, the um, shimmer went above the crease. So what I do, I just go ahead and go back to that darker shade that I had used. And I go ahead and just re-add it over the parts where the shimmer over did it. So we're done with my makeup account questions, so we're going to go ahead and move on to my personal account. We're almost done, so just stick around for the giveaway at the end. Once you have corrected your crease, go ahead and add the darker shade on your outer corner and blend it inwards. That way you can see the um, blending in between your matte shade and the shimmer shade. Do you have a phone? I honestly don't know what the hell this person was thinking, but do you have a phone? Who doesn't have a phone? My little sister is 13, four, 14, and she has a phone. Yes, I have a phone. So our next question was, what was so empowering about makeup? Women are already pretty. So, what is empowering about makeup? Everything's empowering about makeup. Look at this. Did you see me how I, did you see how I started in the beginning of the video? And do you see how I am right now? Ugly, but do I look beautiful? Yeah. So for eyeliner, we're not gonna we're gonna go ahead and not do a wing, but you do need eyeliner on your um, upper lash line. That way, it could blend out with your lashes. So my sister got tired of asking these questions, so I'm just gonna go ahead and ask these questions now. So our next question is, where did you get those nice chamarras? Um, I need me some for this weather. So for eyeliner, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and use the Urban Decay Glide Eye Pencil and the Butter London Glazing um, Lustrious Liner. So the liner, we're gonna go ahead and use it to draw the line as if you were gonna do a wing and the eye pencil to go ahead and add it on our lower lash line and our upper lash line. So I got the chamarras off of Shane. If you guys haven't seen my Shane Ha versus Fashion Nova, go ahead and check that out. Uh, those chamarras are really not warm, so I wouldn't recommend them to you. They're more of a like decoration on you because they're not thick at all. Like they literally won't cover you anything. They will just make you look nice. Hey princess. Mm. You're not a princess. So once we've added the eyeliner, we're going to go ahead and curl our lashes, apply mascara. I use the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced and add our lashes. So meanwhile, we do that. We're going to go ahead and answer the next question, which would be, 
Are you single or taken? I'm confused. Girl or boy, how are you confused? I don't post anyone, so I don't know what would be confusing about that, but I'm single, so. So since we're about to add our lashes, we're gonna go ahead and go with the question lash recommendations. I have two lash recommendations. So my first lash recommendation would have to be KDB Lashes. Um, her lashes are so, so cute. They're so nice. This is actually her lash book. You guys can go ahead and find her link in my description box. The second recommendation, which I'm going to be using today, are going to be the lovely lashes. Lashes? Um, these lashes are so, so nice and they're very, very comfortable to wear. I know because I've been wearing these lashes like as of now. Ever since I got these lashes, I actually won them off a giveaway. The first um, lash book, I won it off a giveaway. So ever since I got these lashes, I've been wearing these lashes. But I definitely recommend Lovely Lashes. This is one of her lash books. Girl, these lashes are so nice. You guys are going to see a lot of like loose lashes. That's because I cut off what doesn't fit on my eye and I leave them on because sometimes you want to do looks and you can use these extra um parts of the lashes to add them on your lower lash line so that's why it's a mess the lash book does not come like this i swear but you guys can go ahead and purchase these lashes and use um cg10 at checkout to get 10 percent off your purchase so those are going to be my lash recommendations i really really recommend these lash books so again, these are the lash books. If you guys want to see more of the lashes, you guys can go ahead and check out my Instagram. I do have two separate videos on these two different lash books and the lashes. So go ahead and check that out. So as of now, because this is a subtle look, we're going to go ahead and use the Lovely Lashes Lash Book Volume 1. And we're going to go ahead and use the lashes in Style Kiss. So I'm going to go ahead and add the lashes off camera and I'll be right back okay so those are our lashes on our next question is pettiest thing someone has done to you to me the pettiest thing you could do to me is block me especially if you do it with no reason when i was i think in 12th grade uh this person me and this person were arguing and he decided to block me before i even had the chance to respond back to what he had told me so that there is for me the pettiest thing someone could do to me I hate when people block me um, because I feel like I am that annoying to them or I bother them that much that they had the necessity to block me, which I'm pretty sure I don't do. Like, if you straight up tell me you don't want to talk to me anymore, you want nothing to do with me anymore, dude, I'll leave you alone. But, like, you know. So... We have removed our baking powder and I know you could see the flashback or the lines where your setting powder is at. That's okay because you go ahead and add your setting spray and just dab it in a little bit and the lines will be gone. You won't have any flashbacks though. What? So before our setting spray, we go ahead and add a blush. I like a very subtle blush so I go ahead and use the Pixie Fresh Face Blush in Peach Rose. Our next question is favorite makeup brand. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed that mostly everything I use from brushes to the setting spray is Morphe. So Morphe would have to be my favorite um, makeup brand simply because it is so affordable but the products are so so good. So it's like it's not just affordable but the products work wonders. They work better than some really expensive makeup brands that I've tried. So Morphe would have to be my go-to. So, with that done, we go ahead and add our setting spray. You go ahead, grab your beauty blender, and just dab in your setting spray. So, once we have that, now we can move on to our highlighter. So, my favorite highlighters, I am going to have to say, would have to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amorezzi Highlighter Girl. Who doesn't love this highlighter? The compact is so small, but it is so good. Like, you literally need, need so little bit of this product. So, my second um, highlighter that I like is from the Pure Sculpture Highlighter and Contouring Palette. These highlighters are so good as well. Like, But if you guys want to go for a more affordable one, I go with the Juvia's Place 
loose highlighter so this is in the shade nefertiti i really like this this you're gonna have to use it very carefully because since it is loose powder you're gonna have to like dab in it very softly you don't need any setting spray for this one now on the other ones that are pressed powders i do go ahead and add setting spray on my brush before applying it i am going to show you guys on one side i'm going to use the nubian um by juvia's place hi um, loose highlighter and on the other cheek i'm going to go ahead and use the pure sculpture highlight so i'm going to go ahead and use the morphe m531 for our highlighter go ahead and use the morphe continuous setting spray add a little setting spray on the brush and i go ahead and dab into this shade right here from my mirror it already looks blinding so it's like this would be a good palette for you to travel with if you you know you don't want to carry a separate contour and highlight compact this is a very good palette you guys see how blinding this is the next question is any pets i do have pets if by now you don't know that i have pets then um you're not really paying attention to my life because i always post my dog so i do have a dog and i have an iguana because last time i said lizard and it was an iguana we have a green iguana her name is rexy because she's green and she looks like that rex dinosaur from toy story so now on the other side we're gonna go ahead and use the juvia's place highlighter now since there is some i don't know you guys see that there is some highlight on the top already we're just gonna go ahead and use what's on the top we're not gonna go ahead and add any more product we're not gonna go ahead and pick up any more product that is other than in the top we're gonna go ahead and grab a clean brush so you guys can see the difference and we are going to grab the morphe y11 which is a very good brush if you like heavy heavy highlight so not gonna add any setting spray I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up what's on this top and you guys see that just 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 one this is more of a golden highlight of course you guys see that it was just one one dab but now we're gonna go with our second one for our brows and there you guys go those are my favorite go-to highlighters these are definitely a must that just retails for $14 now if you go to Juvia's place actual website you can actually get a discount and get it for like $8 so I really really recommend that loose highlighter so our last question since we are almost done is I really don't want to answer that question um it'd be ideal boyfriend um I don't I don't I don't I don't want a boyfriend so my ideal boyfriend just doesn't exist again we're not gonna pick up any more product from the actual compact we're just gonna go ahead and grab some highlight from the lid and add it to our inner corners so there you guys go last thing that i do is i go ahead and use the lip scrub for my lips and i use the jeffree star velour lip scrub and spearmint go ahead and scrub all this dead since dead skin cells that we have on our lips and i just go ahead and add it so once i've applied the lip scrub i go ahead and grab a napkin and i just start scrubbing so once we have scrubbed our lips we're gonna go ahead and add lip gloss i use the essence shine 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 lip gloss You're good with one coat, but I like adding two coats just just in case. And that is our look. Very simple, again, very neutral. You guys could avoid adding the darker shade if you want it a little bit more neutral. But yeah, now it's time to get to the part of the video that I know you guys have been waiting for the giveaway. So as you guys know, on my past video, I said that I was going to be giving away the items that i was not going to use out of the jeffrey mysterious valentine's box so the time has come we are here so i'm going to be giving everything in the box except for the t-shirt because i don't know what size the winner is going to be wearing and the second thing i'm not going to be giving away is going to be the pop socket because it's already attached to my phone 
and the lip liner because I swatched it without thinking about giving it away. So that's going to be the giveaway. The rules are going to be in the description box. And I hope you guys enjoy. I will be announcing the winner on March 15th, right in the middle of the month. So that would be it. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And hit the little bell so you guys can get notified when I upload. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys on my next video. Okay. We're finished here.